Hi guys, Spect here, welcome back to some more Total Warhammer 3 Continuing my Nikari 100 turn head start campaign It is, um, well it's not going great I've had to now pay off Bretonians twice to not basically to war me Which I'll have to keep doing until I'm able to expand Which we can't do at the moment But my, I've now got three scouts, three cultists And they're out trying to corrupt the elves Because if I can get the corruption levels up once it's full, I can just dominate them. So I can just dominate the entire faction of them. So that'll be good. Especially if I get one of the big ones. And I've got to wipe those out anyway for the rich conditions. I've got to take them three out. And if you guys are new around here, please drop me a sub. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so I can apply for the YouTube Partner Programme. If you can help me get there, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'll be making a uh, a big move now. Because basically for the next two months, I'm going to be basically doing full-time content creation. I've spoke to my, my partner, Ella. And uh, we're basically, she wants me to give it a go. So I've got enough I've got enough money to cover me for those couple months. So I'm going to um, give it a go across um, the rest of October. And then all November and December of 2023 and um, see if I can uh, make some big headways towards that thousand number if I could get there before the end of the year that'd be amazing but that's a big ask but we'll see but if you guys are um, supporting me as you have done anything's possible I've seen it with some friends of mine who had their YouTube channels and how quick some can grow and then some might get an influx of subscribers but not necessarily all the views to go along with it in my case I've got views and I've got a lot of watch time uh, my watch time's ridiculous actually my views are as well for a channel my size I'm um, getting in some cases more views than a channel four or five times my size so if that follows me all the way to a thousand subs that could be Really, really good to try and start my um, content creation career off full time permanently. See where I can get to with it. If I don't try it, I'm never going to know. I've never done it before. It's a bit nerve wracking, but also at the time exciting. Wolfric! Ooh, he's quite along the, the conversion path. I just hope I can get to him before um, bloody Sigvald. And then again, he's starting to get. Ooh, I wonder how strong he is, actually, Malus. Mr. Malassian. I don't need another cultist. Stop offering me cultists. The throbbing threshold. <laughs> okay. Quite the name. Going here. Why, yes. Eighty per cent, nice. She's got two turns until she can make a cult building. So I'll put one under this. Because he owns it and it's um, a city as well. 
I'd rather put it under a city than a town. Where's the other guy? There. Divine master. Dance on. I move in the next way. I cannot rewrite ye and my prince. Well, she can get them. That one can come up here and get these. <laughs> oh, Tyrion's there. Oh, I can't get Tyrion though, can we? He won't do it. He's got too high defence chance against it. Probably need to try one of the high level heroes. Submission. Yeah, I'll bring Elaine down here to get these. And Elaine can go and get him. Right, he's starting to get corrupted. She is a tiny bit. But the more stuff I can corrupt, the better. I just have to see. At the moment, my offensive forces is those three cultists. That's all I've got. I can't do much of anything else. I've just got to hope that the forces of the of good basically don't get organised and come at me. Because if they do, I'm pretty much shafted. Only thing I could hope to do is then is take Nikari through Norska and take a town or a city off one of the Norskan tribes on the far side of Norska or even in the Chaos Wastes beyond that and just basically be far enough away that the forces of order have got to come through bad guys to get to me because then at that point all the bad guys going to war with the good guys and that's going to slow them down um, either for a long time or pretty much indefinitely but then again the 100 turn head start rules basically forbid me from doing that because now I've chosen my second province the only two provinces I can basically work at is Shrace that was my starting area this one over here and the one where I'm at now I can't claim a province somewhere else so I'd have to stand and fight I'm not allowed to until turn 100 at turn 100 you can play the game like you normally would you're basically you're unleashed you're unshackled but you can't do that to begin with the whole point is to make the game harder you're looking to defend what you've got. You're not trying to run away and migrate somewhere else. Well, Scrag did a lot. It's got boomed by the Emperor. Could have um, subjugated the Varg, but I completely forgot. me to talk to you. Grafty the fly lord spare you of his moat. Why, why can't I see? Oh, I've not seen must have not met him yet. Really? Okay. Oh, be slaves. Bring dead. True and next the Vog were well, then again, they're not that strong. I've only got two settlements, to be fair, it's not a big loss. See, him, different story. 
he's got 11 settlements. He is somebody I would really, really like to be able to confed. Sharice is starting to get some corruption as well. Avalon's getting a little bit. It's just Althari and Amon's getting none. We could bring somebody over to deal with the Bretonians. Could be an okay idea. Cultists. I know we need these to win, but we need the Bretonians to also not kill us. Bring her over, she can start working the Bretonians. Actually, no, take the cult one. Just realised she can get a cult building. We can ram that cult building straight under um, Corone. I'm not too bad about Fae Enchantress, she's quite far south, even though I think she's actually stronger. It's more him. He's the issue. But he's not getting anything against him at the moment. I need to start working on him. Minor faction, though, anyway, to be fair. Only oh, 29%? What? Why? That's 33%. Didn't you? I have to try that one. Failed, but she didn't get wounded. At least that's something. What you've got to think of is basically every time we get a successful agent action think of that as like winning a battle same as every time we get to um, put a, a court building down and um, court buildings obviously that's guaranteed but it's just that it's time gated so you only you can do it once at 15 turns per hero I wish this fucking Winds of Magic here would change to be positive so I can get out of fucking channeling stance. Which is really, really annoying.
I'll research that action and I'll come over here for these because this one's not really going to benefit me. Closest corn faction to me is Valkyr, and I'm pretty sure Valkyr's already dead. And then seducing its budget, while it's good having a bigger budget, I haven't got the money to afford to seduce that many units. Because I've got very little coming in. I don't want to waste it on seducing units, ideally. Yeah, I'm going to come over here into these ones. Could be useful. Definitely. See the selective influence as well, I wonder if that seduces it just for you or for them as well. If your question doesn't titillate my sense glands, you will suffer my... Well he's at minus two now. Peace treaty. Who's he at war with? I'm just going to piss off my guys off. I wonder how strong he is. I need to have a look, actually. I don't start keeping an eye on Batoni Rax as well. Yeah, give me that one. I'll get some of these ones on the go. And see, this actually partly works in your favour. The AI, particularly in the high difficulties, spams a lot of armies. They just do. They spam armies fucking everywhere. But the more armies they've got, and the more settlements they've got, the more marks you can put on their armies, and then when you've got your um, ability to put a court building down, you've got more courts you can place under the cities. Um, how's Malus doing? Let's have a look. My part. He's not doing great though. Cain's bride. What foolish errand? He's doing shit, in fact. What now? I 
I see Throg on the other hand. Throg's not doing... He hasn't got an army at the moment. I think he's had his ass whooped by someone. But he's not doing too bad in terms of that. What I could do is actually... Yeah, come this way. Just keeping an eye on these a little bit. I know these are at war with me, but I don't think they'll be coming for me anytime soon. I'm not even sure if they know where I've gone. But if they get a alliance with the Bretonians, the Bretonians probably will show them where I am. Then, they, then I might see some fleets come my way. But obviously it takes a while to um, get a faction up to 100% like seduced where you can then take control of them. And then even if you take control of a faction, I think it's a 10 turn cooldown between being able to do it again. So like if I vassalized Eltharion and he became my one of my seduction uh, victims... I'd have to wait 10 turns until I could do it again. Since the Bretonians came at me full tilt, I wouldn't really have any defence unless his armies would intervene. My prince. That is a city, right. Master, I cannot move yet. I move in the next way. No, I'm gonna go stick one under that city there. I got anything with the rug? I don't think I have ever. No. It doesn't like that I'm at war with Hagrief, really. It's weird. Your sin is my command. Yeah, at the moment I just don't want to be fighting. Bretonians. Not with how many armies they've got. Even if they come at me with, um, like, peasants, which I've got, like, zero respect for. Peasants, if they bring enough of them, will still overwhelm. My, uh, marauders. My marauders aren't exactly good units. <laughs> I 
And since I can't recruit anything else because I'm stuck in a bleeding town. Someone's got a loud little dog barking. Is he honestly going to make it all the way there? Marcus Wolfhart, okay. A lot of factions have died in this really fast. I'm just, just realising. Nagari loves to frolic as much as the Dark Prince himself. Six hundred devotees. See what I said before. You're swimming devotees. Although I've got less devotees than money, I'm actually more secure in devotees. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Because bear in mind, a devotee army only costs you twenty. I might say I've got to wait another five turns. Kind of weird. Warfuck just made his. Uh, Conversion a bit easier though. Resistance to seduction plus fifty per cent. Shouldn't that be reduced, not increased? But either way, if it gets up there, I can <coughs> Bring marauders all. vassalize him. Speak. Try and get Frog as well. Because at the end of the day, they've both got a lot of money. And it's what I'm needing is the trade agreement. I need the uh, tribute from vassals. That can enable me to have a lot more money coming in. And then I can, when I'm able to, I can build my... Uh, Proper army. Although I would like to try and get this off a of Wolfric. Although once the 110 head start comes out, I can take whatever I want. I just need a uh, a city of some kind. Doing. 
four turns. See if you can go and get one on Tyrion. Forty three, that's better. Go with grace. Let's get that on Tyrion, then we'll go and get the thing. Because can't establish another cult yet. They're getting ten percent from that. It's like what the fuck. You are not worthy of our... I might start putting some seduction on on uh, Kislev as well. Could be an idea. Drychus still there, she'll create some problems for the Empire and stuff. I have another army up there, maybe. Another disciple on the might. I don't know. Oh shit, he's got a piece of one. Fear me. He's at war with Exiles of Nehek. Crom Brindle is stopped there for some reason. <gasps> Crom Brindle's actually doing well for the first time ever. Oh my god. Forgot about that. He's got 11 settlements. Has he fucked up Malekith? What the hell? How many has he got? Four. I said, just hope she ain't coming for me.
I need Wilfric. Ooh. A cult under him. I don't think I can seduce him, unfortunately. Three percent now. Damn. Why can nobody get a goddamn mark on him? Just take the fucking mark, Terry, you son of a bitch. I don't understand. this thing cost 750 <laughs> huh yeah why not fuck it the Ryan, eh? Where? Oh, okay, somewhere by Marcus Wolfhart. Right, okay. That does me. I just thought with having like 2,600, I don't need that many. It's only 300 to, um, like, seduce a faction. So I thought, might as well do that. So I've got Warfare yeah. basically coming up. And that's another fifteen devotees per turn and then four seductive influence on those three factions. I don't think it's gonna do much to her, but I can work my way down through Bretonia and do him and then her. But yeah. Loads. Loads and loads. Uh, let's do a fast one. Fast end turn one. Okay, like 120 a turn. It does me. Right. You can establish me a cult as well. Thank you. I mean, then again, saying they're doing hero actions against them, they're not going to like me. More for that, but... It's a way to help me against them, I suppose. 
That's all the champs I've got. Because at the moment they get plus two leadership when fighting against Sanishi factions. So they're getting a benefit. I need to turn that into a negative. Looks like he gets a big negative there. Oh, they've, ooh, they've got a bit now. God, there's a shot up. But they see they're still getting plus two leadership when fighting against Anishi factions. I didn't think of the negative. this part here for today then we're almost done with that that's going to give us some more Stanish corruption i think it's only in my provinces though but it does say all provinces but i think it means all mine then i can work on relations with these which will help me out with the potential allies um then we'll get these done i can't get these yet because you need certain buildings that i can't build i mean that that would send my devotees through the goddamn roof because of how many gifts of slanish that i've got because you only get five to begin with i think it is yeah you get five but with that research it goes up to 30 per mark you're gonna be swimming in devotees you have so many and then pretty much you can use this whenever it's off cooldown at that point there's no point saving them because you're gonna have that goddamn many But we'll keep chipping away at it. We're at turn 66, so we are basically two thirds of the way through. Just another 34 turns, and then we can try and attack and take something. So I hope you guys are enjoying so far. If you are, leave a like. If you're new around here, please drop a sub, help grow the channel. Again, I'm trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. If you can help me get there, I'd really appreciate it. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and I'll catch you all soon.